All right, y'all, you already know, LDBC. So Ryan Garcia is somewhere in Japan against Rukia Ampo. They have an exhibition fight coming up. Now, people are wondering why is this going on? Well, Ryan Garcia is still suspended for taking banned substances against Devin the Dream Haney when they fought April 20th. Uh, he already came in three pounds overweight. He wasn't going to win the title. And then his victory rightfully so got changed to a no contest so ryan garcia had been running around and uh uh going on rants and everything like that right but now he's going up against uh ampo in japan for an exhibition on december on december 30th well uh, they did a press conference last week and they got all these different sponsors where oscar de la hoya comes out and says that basically ryan garcia's team went behind his back set up this exhibition and ryan and golden boy which is owned by oscar de la hoya has ryan garcia exclusive rights when it comes to fighting and promoting now look this is what i think gonna happen i think because there's so many sponsors involved oscar is going to let ryan garcia fight the man even though ryan in my opinion should be going through rehab or or something but whatever right so he over there and you know they got this rivalry or they be taking shots at each other ryan and uh, oscar and uh, ryan felt like oscar didn't believe in him and all of this but i do think that the exhibition is going to go on just because there's too much money involved there's too much money involved i'm sure oscar's going to get his 40 50 percent of the cut ryan might walk away with a million dollars but um i mean hey look whatever man i don't care it's not a sanctioned fight you know ryan garcia can fight the rock or hulk hogan for all i care you know it's not a sanctioned fight so it is what it is but i do like the fact that oscar's trolling and man this is what boxing need man boxing need trollers oscar man you know he be going in on canelo and uh, floyd and everybody else you know you got to have something entertaining with boxing especially in a horrible state that is in the best don't fight the best it's a lot of cherry picking so much politics it's 90 percent drama uh did when you finally get to see the fight you want to see we never got to see keith thurman versus earl spence uh keith thurman versus tim bradley like i mean it's just it's the list goes on and on of people and fights that we never got to see hell we never got to see the rematch between earl spence and terrence crawford earl spence ain't fought in almost two years so you know i don't i mean maybe earl spence need to go over there and fight and fight on poor or whatever but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it uh, i do think it's gonna go on because oscar they, it, trust me they all in Oscar just want to get his 50% of the cut. But tell me what y'all think.